Having a challenging day today. Not a bad day, just a challenging day. What I mean by challenging is um, I need to do a specific task and I don't have the specific tool. So I'm going to try to build that tool. Let's get to work. Okay, so here's the deal. Not a big deal, uh, but I'm, let me just show you what the problem is. Here's the problem. It's a PTO shaft off my tractor, goes into a six inch rotor tiller. Doesn't matter, it's a PTO shaft. Bent, okay, gotta replace it, got the replacement, sitting right over there on the workbench. Um, the problem is, getting the PTO shaft out of this yoke. Um, I've been in there, I've been trying to beat on it, and uh, it's not having it. So, the tool I am missing is a hydraulic press. Now, I could go down to Harbor Freight and pick one up and be back here probably faster than, than what it's gonna take me to actually try to build one. But. A couple things I have. I have an old bottle jack. When I bought the fifth wheel, I got the generator, the Harbor Freight generator, and I converted that to propane. Uh, there's a video on it. Uh, that went really great. That went, that's actually a pretty good video. Well, along with that uh, fifth wheel, I got a, and a few other odds and ends. One was this hydraulic jack. It's a bottle jack. It's in rough shape. I'm gonna spend a, a couple minutes giving it some love and trying to get it uh, back operational. And that's from one part of my life. And another part of my life, uh, we rented out some land over here. They put up some greenhouses. In those greenhouses, they wanted some shelving, so I built them some shelving. Part of the shelving was Unistrut, otherwise known as Super Strut. I have about 300 10 foot or 12 foot lengths of this. I got this stuff coming out my ears. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up a bunch of this stuff. I'm gonna use the bottle jack and try to make myself a hydraulic press. How hard could it be? <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. And I'm gonna do something that, normally I put a lot of thought into these and, and um, I've got a pretty good idea how it's gonna turn out. This time I haven't got a clue. Not a clue. Somewhere around here, there's a piece of cardboard with a Sharpie design on it that uh, I came up with in about three minutes. Um, anyway, I'm not talking. Uh, first thing I wanna do is clean up the bottle jack. I'll get that going. Then I'm gonna start cutting uh, and welding this stuff up. I'm not gonna show you every cut. I'm not gonna show you every weld. But when I come to the whole assembly thing and, and um, and seeing if it actually works. That you'll be there for. So if I, uh, if it fails, it fails. Uh, if it works, great, you know. I swap the thing out and I'm, I can get back on the tractor and get back to work. Anyway, let's get to work.
here it is. It is uh, the final unit assembled. Uh, do I know if it works? Nope. But we're actually going to try it out live here and see what happens. I had to make, um, I didn't have to. Oh, it's still warm. No, it's hot. Um, I had to make that little guy. I didn't want to use sockets. I mean, I could have just thrown one of my impact sockets up there and uh, did it. But uh, this is uh, a cutoff piece of the inside tube for that. And uh, just clock it uh, about 45 degrees out and it should work. Okay, let me get you in the stand and get everything lined up. And um, let's see what happens. Here's a brief overview of my, my final configuration. Use these bolts here as a, as a cross piece to tie all this stuff here together, one on each side. These were just spacers. So I put these in on both sides. All they are are some right angle brackets. Again, this is Unistrut stuff. If I can get one out, see? It's just Unistrut stuff. So. Uh, Everything here is Unistrut, except for the uh, the jack itself and the and the bolts. Um, now, I put these here in so that these guys here wouldn't spread apart. These top pieces here keep these guys from spreading apart. And I left this gap here instead of doing full length. I left this gap here so I could actually, because I only made this I think 16 inches tall, 20 inches tall. I don't know. But I could make another piece that goes here and then up and then bolt them together so I can extend it and uh, make, a, make a taller version if I wanted to. Um, knowing the demographics of my audience or people that watch my videos, I wouldn't call them audience or fans or anything, you're over 45. And uh, that means you're you may remember a few things. Like before there were Legos, there were things called Erector Sets. And uh, you may find this hard to believe, but uh, I grew up playing with Erector Sets. Look familiar? Is it perfect? No. Nope. Did it get the job done? Yeah. Uh, basically, I think everything here I had on hand just in my shop. I didn't have to go out and buy anything, so it got the job done. Is it perfect? Oh, heck no. It's a... <laughs> Art from scrap would, uh, would be proud. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun doing this.